guys, this is Little Lagoon Reef. My name is Ryan. Uh, first of all, just wanted to apologize for that terrible editing. So, Happy New Year. Um, thank you for being here, first of all. You know, this is really awkward for me. I've never done anything like this, and I'm just excited to be able to talk a little bit about my reef tank and give some of my experiences. So really I got my inspiration to do this from Bahamalama Coral and Inappropriate Reefer on YouTube. Um, I'm sure most of you guys know who they are, but if not, I'll put their links uh, to their channels in the description. I'm hoping for this to be more of a kind of vlog style YouTube channel, you know, I'll take you guys along when I'm setting up new things in my reef tank, I'll explain to you what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. Um, next week I'll be starting off with that vlog style kind of content. I'll be going fish shopping with my girlfriend. I'm gonna just give you guys some basics on the tank and the setup I'm currently running. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, so again, thank you for being here. Let me know in the comments what you think, if um, this is kind of, this vlog style is something you want to see. And yeah, just let me know any ideas, comments. Um, if you're here right now, it's probably because you already follow me on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is little lagoon underscore reef. I will drop that right here and also in the description. So yeah, thank you. Um, but for now, let's just get into my reef tank. This is my 25 gallon uh, Innovative Marine Lagoon. I don't believe this is the Nuvo Pro version. This was the first version of this tank they released. I got it secondhand from somebody else. The tank is just over four months old. Um, currently, I only have the two clowns and one blue chromis. On top of that, I have about three hermit crabs and unfortunately only one uh, Nasarius snail right now. A few of them have died off and I've had these for uh, quite a few months. Um, starting back in my old tank. I've been moving pretty slow on it. You can see it's not super filled in or anything. Um, mostly just some easy beginner corals right now, hoping to get some growth. Um, the GSP on the back wall and the side has been growing in pretty good. And then I just got the toadstools, some other softies. Um, I have one piece of purple stylo and then the small um, head of blue hammer coral that has more kind of like orange gold tip then i just got the two small heads of the green candy cane and two decent sized frag tiles of zoas um within the past you know week or two the zoas have just started growing up onto the rock so hopefully it'll start to fill in the rock work a bit um also in the past like week and a half or so i've started to see some purple encrusting growth on the rocks which is always a good sign and i've also been getting some coralline growth on the uh, back glass and the side i've kind of been scraping it off but um all of that coralline you know none of it has turned purple yet i just see like the green encrusting coralline i am running just the stock return pump that came with the tank um, on top of it, I have probably a five or six year old max spec razor, um, 120 watt, I believe. I also got this used um, when I got the tank. Um, I've been getting some good growth out of the light. The spectrum is good, but um, you can kind of see like the separate color channels ripple in the water, which I'm not really a huge fan of. Um, then I also just got this new Innovative Marine Dex desktop uh, Wavelink in here. Before I was running just a, a very small JBO um, wave maker, which I thought was doing a good job. Um, I think it just kind of died down over the past year, so I gave it a good cleaning, took it out. This wave maker is actually very strong, so for anybody considering this, I would definitely recommend it. I've got the Tunzi Osmolator underneath in a small um, RO top-off reservoir. It's actually just a, a garbage can, which I can show you guys later on. And then I have the very small Reef Octopus NS80 skimmer, um, which has been working okay. Not the best, but in my, in my past setup, I didn't have a skimmer, so obviously this is a lot better than what I had before. 
Um, for filtration, I just run a filter sock on each side along with, you know, the skimmer. But those filter socks I change out about every two weeks. And then on the right side, I have a media basket that I made out of sewing material tied together with the uh, Ziploc ties. And there right now, I have a bag of Chemi Pure Elite and a very tiny bag of just regular um, carbon. Hopefully in the near future, um, I can take out that, you know, chemical filtration and I would like to turn that into a small refugium in the back. Uh, I guess it just depends when I can kind of get my hands on some Kato and a decent light setup. Uh, also, in the back, I have a tube running from my Kimor X1 dosing pump. It's just a single line dosing pump. Um, so I have it set up, but my calcium and magnesium have been a little higher than I, I want them to be. Right now, my magnesium is about 1440, and my calcium was, I think, 480. Um, so I've got that set up. I'm just not currently using it, but in that, I will be dosing all furry from Tropic Marin. So yeah, guys, that's all I really got for now. Um, I'll definitely be shooting some updates in the future. Um, next week my second video i will have most likely a new fish coming hopefully a new frag too um but for now guys you know stay safe thank you for coming and turn on that bell notification after you subscribe to me um like the video leave a comment what you think and yeah thank you very much